Artificial General Intelligence Future Trends Artificial General Intelligence, AGI, is the ability of a smart agent to understand or learn any intellectual task that a human can't. It is one of the main goals of some research into artificial intelligence, and it is a common theme in science fiction and studies of the future. AGI can also be called strong AI, full AI, or general intelligent action. However, some academic sources reserve the term strong AI for computer programs that have sentience or consciousness. In contrast to a strong AI, weak AI, or Monero AI is not meant to have general cognitive abilities. Instead, weak AI is any program that is made to solve exactly one problem. In academic circles, weak AI refers to programs that don't have consciousness or a mind in the same way that humans do. A 2020 survey found that there were 72 active AGI R&D projects in 37 countries. However, before we start our countdown, we would appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. Let's get started. Modern Research on Artificial General Intelligence Mark Goodbread used the term artificial general intelligence as early as 1997 when he talked about what it would mean for the military if production and operations were fully automated. Around 2002, Shane Lang and Ben Goetzel brought the term back and made it more well-known. Pei Wang and Ben Goetzel said that AGI research in 2006 was producing publications and preliminary results. The first AGI summer school was held in Xiamen, China, in 2009. It was put on by the Artificial Brain Laboratory at Shaman University and OpenCog. Todor Arnadov taught the first college course in 2010, 48, and 2011 at Plovdiv University in Bulgaria. In 2018, Lex Friedman ran a course on Artificial General Intelligence, AGI, at MIT. The course had a number of guest lecturers. But so far, most AI researchers haven't paid much attention to AGI. Some say that intelligence is too complicated to be fully copied in the near future. But only a small number of computer scientists are working on AGI research, and many of them are contributing to a series of AGI conferences. The research is very varied and often breaks new ground. Timescales In the introduction to his 2006 book, Goetzel says that estimates of how long it will take to build a truly flexible AGI range from 10 years to over a century. But the consensus in the AGI research community in 2007 seems to be that Ray Kurzweil's timeline is likely. Mainstream AI researchers, on the other hand, have a lot of different ideas about whether or not progress will be this fast. A 2012 meta-analysis of 95 such opinions found that both modern and historical predictions were more likely to say that AGI would start within 16 to 26 years. Later, it was found that the dataset had some experts listed as non-experts and some non-experts listed as experts. In 2017, researchers Feng Lu, Yong Shi, and Ing Lu tested the intelligence of weak AI that was freely available to the public, such as Google AI and Siri from Apple. At their smartest, these AIs had an IQ of about 47, which is about the same as a first-grade student who is 6 years old. On average, an adult is worth about 100. In 2014, similar tests were done, and the highest IQ score that could be given was 27. In the year 2020, OpenAI made GPT-3, a language model that can do many different tasks without any special training. Gary Grossman wrote in a VentureBeat article that even though everyone agrees that GPT-3 is not an example of AGI, some people think it is too advanced to be called a narrow AI system. In the same year, Jason Rohrer used his GPT-3 account to build a chatbot and made Project December, a platform for building chatbots. OpenAI asked Rohrer to disconnect Project December from the GPT-3 API because the chatbot didn't follow their safety rules. DeepMind made Gato in 2022. It is a general-purpose system that can do more than 600 different things. Challenges in the way of artificial general intelligence Even though AGI hasn't been made yet, it promises a lot of good things to come. But it is facing serious problems right now, which come in the form of the following. It is a problem that there isn't a working protocol to help with networking for AI or machine learning. 
Because of this flaw, systems are forced to work as independent models in a closed environment. And this is a very different way to work than the complicated and social human experience. Gaps in communication make it hard to share data and teach machine learning models from each other, which make them less universal. The lack of a network for artificial intelligence also makes it harder to work toward a common goal. The people in charge of an organization don't know how to use AI in their business operations to get certain results. The cost of putting AI platforms into place is high because there is no clear direction and companies can't afford to hire a team of AI experts. When AI developers and companies try to sell their code and services, they often run into problems. How can AGI be created? There are three important goals that need to be met before AGI could be made. 1. We need to connect businesses that need AI technologies with developers who are looking for ways to make money. This can be done through an AI marketplace. 2. We should start linking AI services and networks together to make data lakes that can be used to power AGI. The interactions between different AI platforms will help make machine learning solutions that work for everyone. 3. We can start to open up access to AI technologies to everyone and put pressure on oligopolies to give everyone access to technologically advanced solutions. Setting up communication protocols for exchanging data and services and making AI more accessible through an end-to-end -end AI marketplace can help reach these three goals. The first helps lay the groundwork for AGI, and the second connects companies and developers to speed up the time it takes to get a product to market. AI researchers are excited about the possibility of using artificial general intelligence in the future. The world is changing quickly, and artificial intelligence is almost entirely to blame. AI has made its way into both our professional and personal lives to the point where we need more creative and automated ways to do our daily tasks. Advanced technologies like AI and machine learning have their own problems, like the possibility of bias, exploitation, and other bad uses. However, they have also given us new ways to look at every aspect of business and our daily lives that have never been seen before. Researchers and scientists are working hard to solve all of the problems with technology and create new areas of artificial intelligence that can automate processes without any problems. Artificial general intelligence is a branch of AI that is new and interesting, AGI. Artificial general intelligence's main goals are to make artificial systems fully capable teach them to learn from experience, adapt to new things, and do human-like tasks well. AGI is better than any other technology at mimicking human tasks. When given the right tasks ahead of time, these systems can even do things better than humans. To put it simply, an AGI is a machine that can solve any problem, just like a human. The Present State of Artificial General Intelligence at the moment, the industry has the tools it needs to make AI systems with amazing levels of understanding. Some existing programs have a lot in common with how humans think, perform, and control certain tasks. By putting AGI into advanced tech systems, they will be able to combine human-like flexibility and reasoning with the advantages of computers, like being able to remember things almost instantly and crunch numbers in a split second. Also, using this intelligence to control robots that are at least as flexible and mobile as a person would make a new kind of machine that can do anything. Over time, this kind of intelligence would be able to do almost everything that humans do now. Some experts think that such fast progress in AGI could mean one of two extreme things. Either it could make people cheaper than machines, or it could help them work more efficiently if they worked with such advanced AI systems but it is certain that the introduction of these kinds of systems could make human labor obsolete. AGI also helps in a number of industrial situations that happen in the real world. Scientists from large tech companies are working to stop climate change while creating the tools needed to build AGI for weather forecasting and plasma control for fusion, which is a single source of clean and sustainable energy. Also, these models can help meteorologists predict the weather and make decisions about emergency services, energy management, and turning on flood warning systems. This makes it easier to be ready for bad weather and know what to do when it happens. AGI systems can make more intelligent systems for advanced decision-making. 
The Challenges Faced by AGI in Real-World Scenarios Even though AGI hasn't been made yet, it promises a world full of possibilities. But there are several problems with the technology right now. As important as it is to deal with the effects of climate change, it is also important to sort out the sources from which scientists and researchers get these data. With such advanced artificial intelligence or machine learning networking, not having a protocol that works is very important. Because of this flaw, systems are forced to work as independent models in a closed environment. Also, the lack of communication makes it hard to share data easily and for machine learning models to learn from each other. Executives of organizations don't know how to use AI in their business operations to get certain results. The lack of direction and the fact that only a small number of people have the skills to work with AGI machines make it very expensive to use these systems. Also, without the help of experts, AI researchers can't make big steps forward in the real world. In this field, figuring out the best ways to move forward requires partnerships that are accurate and meaningful across all fields. This will help scientists come up with a common way to use and guide AI during the most important times for society. Controversies and Dangers Feasibility As of May 2022, AGI is still just a theory because no such system has been shown to work. People have different ideas about whether or not artificial general intelligence will ever come to be and when it will. At one end of the spectrum, AI pioneer Herbert A. Simon said in 1965 that machines will be able to do any work a man can do within 20 years. This prediction, though, did not come true. Paul Allen, who helped start Microsoft, thought that this kind of intelligence would be hard to achieve in the 21st century because it would require unpredictable and fundamentally unpredictable breakthroughs and a deep scientific understanding of cognition. Alan Winfield, a roboticist, said in an article for The Guardian that the gap between modern computing and human-level AI is as big as the gap between current space travel and practical faster-than-light space travel. In his article about why intelligence explosion isn't likely, Francois Chollet says that there is no such thing as general intelligence, in particular. On an abstract level, we know this is true because of the no free lunch theorem, which says that no problem-solving algorithm can beat random chance in all cases. If intelligence is a set of rules for how to solve problems, then it can only be understood in relation to a particular problem. We can see this in the real world by looking at the fact that all intelligent systems we know of are very specialized. There is no such thing as general intelligence, intelligence depends on the situation. Your brain is just one part of a bigger system that includes your body, your environment, other people, and culture as a whole. Jan LeCun, who won the 2018 Turing Award for conceptual and engineering breakthroughs that have made deep neural networks a critical part of computing, says that there is no such thing as AGI, only human-level AI, HLAI, but he points out that even humans have specialties. He thinks that the research community is making some progress toward HLAI, but he also says that we are still missing some fundamental concepts and that many new concepts need to be found for HLAI. Lacoon says that according to no free lunch theorems come from learning theory, which says that any learner can only learn a tiny subset of all possible functions, and from Kolmogorov complexity, which says any computer system can only represent efficiently, with a short program, a tiny subset of all possible outputs. Most outputs need a program that is as long as the output itself. AI experts' opinions on whether or not AGI is possible change over time, and they may have become more optimistic in the 2010s. According to the average of four polls done in 2012 and 2013, Experts' median guess for when they would be 50% sure that AGI would arrive was between 2040 and 2050, depending on the poll. When asked the same question but with a 90% confidence level, 16.5% of the experts said never, when asked the same question. Under tests for proving human-level AGI, you can find more information about the progress of AGI right now. But it's important to remember that these predictions are not based on science. In his article AI is a tool, not a threat, Rodney Brooks cites a report by Stuart Armstrong and Kai Sotala of the Machine Intelligence Research Institute, which says that 
Over that 60-year time frame, there is a strong bias toward predicting the arrival of human-level AI to be between 15 and 25 years from the time the prediction was made. They also looked at 95 predictions made between 1950 and now about when AI will reach human level. They show that predictions made by experts and predictions made by people who are not experts are the same. Final thoughts. The next 10 years will be very important for the development of AGI. In fact, experts think there is a 25% chance that AI will look and act like humans by 2030. Also, improvements in robotics and machine algorithms, along with the recent explosion of data and improvements in computing, will provide a good foundation for AI platforms that can do things as well as humans. Now, it's just a matter of time before AGI becomes the new norm. So, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. Tell us what you think about the video in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to get updates when we post new videos.